Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines, Tuning, and Marine. This is a 5.7 liter uh, Mercruiser Marine engine, and I'm uh, about to uh, adjust the valves on this uh, engine rebuild. So right now, um, I don't have the valve covers or the intake manifold on, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the valves so I can actually see the valves moving. So the first thing you wanna do is get an engine on top dead center. And um, because this is a four stroke, you can be at top dead center on the number one cylinder, or you can be at top dead center on the number six cylinder. Number six is the opposing cylinder in the firing order of, a, of the Chevrolet small block V8 engine. So here's number one right here. These are the two valves for number one. And they're loose because I haven't adjusted them. And that's number six on there. That's tight. That's the, uh, I believe that's the intake for number six. So it's a little bit tight. But anyway, so once you get the, the engine set at top dead center, and you'll see, see my previous video on how to set timing, and you'll see that I've already got this set for top dead center. But I did rotate, I did have, on the previous video, I had it at top dead center, but just so happens to be at number six. So I've rotated it around one full turn, to, so now it's at number one. And the way you can tell is that when your mark is right around top dead center, if you're moving in this area, or if you're moving this mark right here, from here across to here, one of these two valves will be moving, or one of these two valves will be moving. And if it's if this is moving, it means number six is was just firing. If that's moving, number one had just fired. So when I rotated this this mark up here, number six, like I was saying, number six was starting to move. So I know I'm at number one at top dead center. Okay, this is a V8 engine, and there's two valves per cylinder, so this, there's 16 total valves to it to be adjusted. And so I looked up the factory manual and I wrote down the numbers on this piece of wood right here. And the reason I wrote it, I'm, I'm gonna build a lot of V8 engines or I build a lot of V8 engines. So um, I wrote this down for my permanent record. So at number one, at top dead center on the final order, you can adjust one E and one I, that makes sense because they're not moving. Three E, two I, four E, five I, eight E, seven I. And the E stands for exhaust and the I stands for intake. When number six is at TDC, you adjust 2E, 3I, 5E, 4I, 6E, 6I, 7E, 8I. So I'll hold that there so you can see a little bit longer. But I, again, I'll put the factory manual uh, uh, excerpts at the end of this video. Okay, so at this time, I'm gonna get the proper wrench. I believe it takes a, uh, a 5 8 inch wrench. All right, I've adjusted 1E and 1I, and the procedure is you rotate this nut until you feel no more play. What I do is I grab this push rod and I rotate it with my fingers like this. And I, I, I turn the wrench until all the slack is taken out of the rock arm and this thing barely, you can you can tell what it just does, does start to tighten up. Once it tightens up, you rotate this wrench one full turn, one more full turn. And then that's how you set the, uh, the adjust the valves. So I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, uh, the rest of these valves and uh, I won't show you because it's a two-handed two process, but um, I'm going to go ahead and do them all per number one top dead center. I've already done one E, one I. I'm about to do three E, and I'll finish up the rest of them. All right, I've now adjusted all 16 valves following that order right there, and I just went in order. I went here, 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 like that. Because I didn't want to, if I skipped around, I might lose track of where I was, so I just went down in order. So one way you can double check is grab each rock arm and, sh and shake them. And if none of them feel grossly loose, like rattling around, you're good. None of none of these are rattling. I mean, there might be a little bit, of, just a tiny little play, like move it, twist it a little bit, but it's not going to rattle. Let's see, the middle. Let's see that one's. I know it's tight. It's it's just twisting. It's not rattling. So that was insane. Anyway, so they're all adjusted, and. Uh, that wraps up the video on how to adjust the valves on a V8, a Mercruiser V8 engine. This goes for both the 5.7 liter and the 5.0 liter. Both of them are General Motors small blocks. So it wraps up the video. Thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful or beneficial, please subscribe to my channel.